channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite pair of trousers. The trousers that I could style in so many different ways and that I've worn for a couple of years now. Um, it's actually a pair that I made myself but there are so many similar styles out there today. It's better known as the dad pant or a formal trouser that one would traditionally wear at work or in a work type environment. But these days it's literally entered the world of street style and I couldn't be happier because I think it is just such a beautiful option for so many different reasons. Of course these trousers aren't perfect for extremely cold weather but I've pulled them through all four seasons taking into account that the winters where I live um, has not been that extreme and it just makes my heart so happy that this pair of trousers was just so extremely versatile in my closet. Um, I really hope that this can also inspire you to find a pair of trousers that could work so extremely well in your closet and this style specifically um, the wide leg palazzo pants um, I found to be extremely well fitted in my wardrobe and I believe it will be in yours too. I like these trousers because it is so easy to move in them. Your legs aren't restricted at all and you can easily sit down, get up and even get in a comfortable position on different types of chairs. So even if you want to take a break on a couch during a working from home day or you're sitting at a more formal chair while you're working, um, you can still be comfortable in all of those different scenarios. Although they are so comfortable, they are still so extremely stylish and that is what I like and appreciate about them. They give one a beautiful silhouette by cinching in the waist by giving the comfort throughout the leg. The pair that I've made has darts in front so it still allows me to have that cinched in waist and even give me a little bit of extra form around that waist area and not just the waist but still allows enough space around the upper um, half of my legs to be really comfortable and have enough space for them to easily move around it. Now, one thing that I didn't really think of when I made these pants is that I like to tuck in a lot of my shirts, especially to give me that piece of you know waist area where it's cinched in and I find it so beautiful. But if you um, have your shirts tucked in, of course it can, it can create a lot of volume around your midriff and that is um, not an area where I appreciate extra volume. So I had to think of a different way of trying to you know, keep that area nice and slim. And I found that high-waisted underwear, um, in other words, like quite large underwear, um, makes a very big difference in this. I bought a couple of um, the style that I'll pop in screen, and I just love this underwear. I must say, um, this was basically a first when I started wearing these. Um, but they are so extremely comfortable, ex especially in trousers like these ones, because you don't have to hide panty lines, thank goodness, right? And then, of course, like I said, you can tuck your shirts into your underwear, it keeps it nice and secure, and you still have that extremely smooth silhouette um, from the outside when you have your trousers on. So I would highly advise getting um, a similar type of underwear when wearing trousers like these. If you would like to style these in a more formal way, um, something that maybe presents while on camera, when working from home, or even when you're back in the office, um, you can obviously wear it with a beautiful dress shirt, a button-up shirt, and I would go so far as to say you can wear basically any color um, with these black ones, black trousers that I have. I like signing them with a white shirt as well as the navy one that I have. And I even have a beautiful one with cut out um, details. It's almost, it looks like a big piece of cotton lace. Um, I wouldn't necessarily wear this at work, um, but I feel as though over the weekend, this is a beautiful option. And although it does have a formal element to it, it's still beautiful, soft and feminine. With all of these formal looks, you can of course add a blazer or a coat for extra warmth if needed. The one reason why I also really like these trousers that I have is they're made out of linen, which is a very beautiful, lightweight, breathable fabric, and it really allows for that extra bit of comfort. Styling these pants in a soft, feminine type of feel is also very achievable, and I like doing that with the two cashmere cardigans that I have. 
I have a lighter one as well as a navy one and I think they go so beautifully. Again, I tuck them in using my high-waisted panties um, and I feel as though they just give that beautiful soft feminine touch to it. Depending on what I want, of course, I can dress it up with a more stylish dress shoe or if I want to be more on the cooler side, um, I could go for a pump or even a white sneaker. Of course, you can also add a coat for extra warmth. Dressing these in a classic feminine type of style is probably one of my favorite styles um, and I like doing that with a boat neck shirt. Of course, you can find so many boat neck options, sleeveless um, as well as with sleeves. I have a camel color in a wool which I find um, very comfortable and beautiful but of course you can even do a boat neck linen shirt with it. I think it could look so beautiful. Different types of classic styles, um, cardigans, sleeveless or not, with a turtleneck um, and without can all be beautiful feminine classic options. If you want to style these in a cooler way, um, literally in a cooler way in terms of heat but also cool, I would go for a t-shirt option um, and maybe my white sneakers or Birkenstocks. I think that these trousers definitely lend themselves to a cooler, more hip type of style and I think these options pair so beautifully. I think even a graphic tee could be beautiful. Um, if you have a favorite band for instance, I think a band tee would look very, very cool with this. Um, and I love wearing this on a more relaxed type of day. Another favorite option of mine is of course to wear it as glamorous as possible um, and being a bit of extra and over the top. Um, I love wearing this um, balloon sleeve shirt that I have on currently with it and I think it creates a beautiful silhouette that I really, really appreciate. Um, I've seen other options even with shorter balloon uh, sleeves and um, with a little puffed shoulders. I think that could also be a beautiful option if you um, want an even cooler um, option instead of the longer sleeve ones. And then if you want to go that extra bit of glam, of course you can do even something like a corset with it. I made this corset a while ago and I wore it to two occasions already and I feel like it looks absolutely beautiful, very classy um, and oh so stunning. And I would even go so far as to make this corset in a lighter color, maybe something even like a, a type of a pink color. I think that could you know, still have that effect of glam, but really create that feminine um, feel to it um, so beautifully well. Um, and these trousers, again, they lend themselves towards going all the way from a very casual look with Birkenstocks all the way to this glamorous look with even a corset. Another way one could wear this is even in a bit more of a sporty way. I was thinking a ripped fabric could really amp up that sporty feeling. And of course, um, you can still have it extremely tight fitting um, if you don't want a looser sporty type of look. And I really think that a ripped knit could really give it that, you know, cool, almost like rugby shirt um, type of feel. And I think that could also look really cool. A few more feminine, almost corset-like type of silhouettes um, are these tops that I've seen online. I think they're beautiful with the very fine and frilly type of details, even the small little bows. This could work in so many different colorways um, and I think they are just endless options. Thank you so much for watching today. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you everyone. Bye.